Yongo Huiwa Level Three Power English. Welcome to the show, everybody. Hi, everyone. I'm Kristen Cho, and I'm Cameron Word. I know our listeners are enjoying their holiday weekend,、mm-hmm. or actually week holiday. Yeah, because it's a Monday. Yeah, so it's a long holiday. <laughs> yes, I know. If you're if you're counting from Saturday,、uh-huh. it's day three of five. Wow. So you know how we say like the long holiday weekend.、Mm-hmm. What does that mean exactly? Is that three days? Could it be four days? Like I would say,、oh. yeah, you could say from three. Okay, long, it's a long weekend. Long weekend. Yeah. But when you have a holiday where it's like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday,、mm. you would just say it's a long holiday. Yeah. yeah. You, once you get to Wednesday,、uh-huh. it's not a weekend、no. anymore. It's a week. It is. Right. All right.、Mm. So just quickly, for,、um, question. Yes.、Uh, Cameron, since we're talking about Chuseok.、Mm-hmm. What's your favorite food, or do you get to have some of the favorite yummy food during Chuseok? So, because so, your family's not here, right?、Uh. So, I have a few Korean friends that their moms or grandmothers、oh. always give them so much food, oh, and they can never eat it. So they give you so some. They give me some of it. Oh, <laughs>、yeah. that's sweet. So, and what's your favorite? So I, I do like some of the 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 tongrang thing is really good. Oh, tongrang thing. Yeah. Okay. And then. Hesamur puchinge, puchinge, like that. One of my friend, he always gives me that. And then, what is the the、uh, the what's it? Gochi, gochi, yeah.、Uh-huh. Where it's got the、yeah. the wong and the crab right, and the right, right. That's those are my that's, three that's, favorites. That's that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. I have to. I would have to say songpyeon for me. Songpyeon. Oh my gosh! Especially like I, the ones that we make at home.、Mm. I make it with the black sesame. <gasps> oh, I'm sure if it's、ja. fresh, it's probably really good. Oh, you. Oh, I don't、Cam. know if I've had fresh lung pion ever. Really? I'm gonna have to make you some. It's always nengdong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make you some.、Oh. Okay. All right. So it is cooking. It's a food dialogue day. Cooking for dietary restrictions.、Mm-hmm. Uh, it must be labor intensive. When something is labor intensive, labor we think like nudong. Yeah. Right.、Mm-hmm. So what is labor intensive? So it means it takes a lot of labor, and it usually takes a lot of physical labor. Physical labor. Yeah, you're、mm-hmm. moving your body, you're working your muscles a lot to do something. Okay. So if you're cooking like this, the other person is saying, "Wow, it must be hard. Yeah. You must put a lot of work into it."、Mm-hmm. Okay. Make a mean m e a n. So I make a mean kimchi jjigae.、Yeah. What does that mean? So this is only really used in food. Related expressions. Okay, it means to make a good tasting something. All right. So make a good tasting kimchi jjigae. All right. Have skin in the game. So this means that you have personal investment in something,、mm-hmm. which means the outcome affects you. So、Got、if、it. something fails, you will be hurting. You will be losing something. Interesting. Let's see how it's used in the dialogue. Let's go ahead and listen to our power dialogue. Are there any meals you can make all the time that everyone can eat? I make a mean stir fry. I use gluten-free soy sauce and never add nuts. And there's no dairy in it, so everyone is happy. All this cooking must be labor-intensive, especially since you work full time. My husband helps a lot with the shopping and cooking. Since he's got skin in the game with his gluten intolerance, he's really diligent. What about the kids? Oh yeah. They both love chopping vegetables and stirring sauces. Here we go.、Uh, please join us on page eighty、uh, for our power dialogue. Anton says, "Are there any meals you can make all the time that everyone can eat?" Okay, all the time is our power pattern. Yes. Yeah. So all the time. Right. This is an interesting expression. All the time means. Can mean continuously,、mm-hmm. like never stopping, right? Yeah. But sometimes it can mean any time, right? Oh yeah. So here it kind of means more of that second one, any time. Any time. Yeah, Michelle's not making the same food all day every day. Right. It's just whenever she needs to make this dish, she can make it whenever, 
At any time. At any time. Mm. So all the time. It has that meaning. Yeah. Great. Uh, Michelle says, I can make a mean stir fry. I use gluten-free soy sauce and never add nuts. And there's no dairy in it, so everybody, everyone is happy. So when you say you can make a mean lasagna mm. or kimchi jjigae or whatever food, yeah. why is mean, M-E-A-N there? I don't know why we say mean, yeah. but it is a way to emphasize that you make a good tasting something. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. So, and it is often used not, you wouldn't necessarily say, hey, this is a mean burger, mm -hmm. no. but you could say you make a mean burger. Right. Right? So right. in this expression, make a mean burger. Blah, blah, blah. It goes together. It goes together. That's right. Yeah. So think about like, maybe you're really, you can't really cook, but you can make a real good tteokbokki. Yeah. Like I can make a mean tteokbokki. Mm. So it's kind of showing off your culinary skills. Yeah. I've got a question. Yeah. So we can use this with food. Mm. Can we use this with drinks? <gasps> he makes a mean margarita. margarita. I was thinking. <laughs> I guess you get margarita is like automatically. He makes I, a mean martini. Oh, makes can a, you? I don't a mean know. Mean old fashioned. Can you? I'm not sure. I've never. I guess you can. Yeah. I guess because you're. It's it's not cooking, but yeah. you are. It's there's like food and a, there's beverage. There's mixing. Yeah. Yes. So it would only be for things that you are gonna eat or gonna drink eat. right so um, let's say someone is a sewer they know how to make clothes yeah you wouldn't say oh they can make a mean sweater that's right but you can say i i can make a mean green suit smoothie yeah. yeah so i think for beverages it can work if you are doing something mm -hmm. yeah yeah okay good good question mm -hmm. okay so uh what does anton say all this cooking must be labor intensive especially since you work full time yeah mm. so I think cooking, any cooking, is labor intensive. Yeah. It really is. There's a lot of physical work yeah. that goes into it. Like, my friends and I were like, anything that you make, you mm -hmm. think, oh, it's simple, but it's not. Yeah. You got to wash it. Uh -huh. You got to cut it. You got to fry it yeah. or bake it. <laughs> the thing that annoys uh, me is uh, there are very few things where it's like one pot. You always need like three pots. Oh, sure. Oh. oh, okay. Labor intensive. When something is intense, yes. it means to a great degree. Yes. Uh huh. Right. So this means it it requires a lot of. Oh. So here with labor intensive, it requires a lot of work, mm. uh, like physical work. That's right. Not like mm. you know writing a report or something like that. Yeah, can be a lot of work, mm. but it's not physical work. That's right. You're not really like. You know, washing and drying and cutting, and you're not doing all of these physical things. Yeah. You're just typing. So labor-intensive work would be like mm. cleaning the house, mm -hmm. farming rice. Yeah. Work, farming rice. <gasps> working in a coal mine. Oh, my goodness. You know? Very labor-intensive. Mm -hmm. Right now, us sitting here at this desk... It's not labor intensive. Oh, not at no. all. No, no, no. All we have to do is blah, 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 blah. You know, just talk with our mouths. Just wagging our jaw, <laughs> as they say. Okay. Oh. Uh, Michelle says, my husband helps a lot with the shopping and cooking. Since he's got skin in the game with his gluten intolerance, he's really diligent. Okay, this is an interesting expression. Mm -hmm. Since he's got skin in the game, so husband is very helpful. Why? He He's got skin, skin in, in the, the game. game. Yeah. So yeah. What does this mean? So this is an expression that means he has an interest mm -hmm. because the outcome affects him a lot. Ah. So the husband has gluten intolerance. Mm -hmm. He can't eat gluten. Mm -hmm. So normal bread mm -hmm. makes him sick. Yeah. That's why he has skin in the game. Uh -huh. If he's not careful with the food he eats, right. he will be in pain. That's right. He will get sick. Mm -hmm. He has skin in the game. Got it. And that's why he's diligent. Yes. Okay. And uh, Korean people really like this word, diligent. Yeah. yeah. What does it mean? So diligent is similar to like hardworking, mm -hmm. but there's an extra bit of perseverance yeah like you're not giving up that's right and you're doing the correct things mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah. We like people who are like 부지런하다. Mm. This is a really important quality, actually, that Korean people respect this quality quite a bit. Yes. To be diligent. Right. Hardworking. And I think it is a... So 부지런하다 oh. can mean diligent. Mm-hmm. But I think in English, diligent doesn't just mean like doing... Like working hard and doing the right thing. Yeah. It can also just mean not giving up. Not giving up. So you can be... Uh-huh. Diligent in asking someone out on a date. Oh, you're persevere. A, right, you're persevering. Oh, uh-huh. So you're asking them, they say no, but you keep asking. Oh, that, yeah. yeah. So it's still, yeah. Yeah. Okay, very good. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Um, so Anton says, what about the kids? And Michelle says, oh, yeah, they both love chopping vegetables and stirring sauces. So it seems like the whole family puts an effort to putting the meals together as it should be yeah as it should be as it should be but not in kirsten's house <laughs> only kristen does everything oh, no. all right let's listen to that dialogue one more time are there any meals you can make all the time that everyone can eat i make a mean stir fry i use gluten-free soy sauce and never add nuts and there's no dairy in it so everyone is happy all this cooking must be labor intensive especially since you work full time My husband helps a lot with the shopping and cooking. Since he's got skin in the game with his gluten intolerance, he's really diligent. What about the kids? Oh, yeah. They both love chopping vegetables and stirring sauces. It's time for Power Note. We're on pages 82 and 83. I make a mean something means I'm really good at making something Mm -hmm. when it comes to food. Yes. Or a drink, okay? Mm -hmm. Is Andrea a good cook? She's amazing. She makes a mean lasagna. A mean lasagna. Mm. Yum, yum. Mm -hmm. My mom makes a mean vegetable curry. Yeah. Okay. Cameron makes a mean blank. Blank. Uh. Bean burrito. Bean burrito. I tell you what. <gasps> I know how, this is going to sound weird, but like beans, uh-huh. I know how to make a mean pot of beans. <laughs> I know it's like not common here in Korea to like, I'm surprised like how few beans are eaten because well, where I'm from, especially. Well, we have our soybeans. We have our like tenjang and we have our tubu. Yeah. But we don't make it like. The way Americans make their beans. Yeah. Uh-huh. You make a whole pot of beans. You make beans. a huge pot of beans. <gasps> eat it with some cornbread. Oh. Or like wrap it up in a tortilla for a burrito. Right. Mexican people also eat a lot of beans. I grew up on like rice and beans. <gasps> rice that, and beans. That was, but yeah. Oh. I mean, depending on how you boil them, mm-hmm. you season them, you right. make a good, I, I make like a to, mean pot of beans. Oh my goodness. I would like to taste your beans. You make a mean pot of everything. Like you... <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> I tell you what, Kristen makes a mean sandwich. <laughs> Not too long ago, yeah, it was she on made my for Instagram. me and all of the production team. Yeah, it was like avocado, arugula. some kind of arugula, French butter. Oh, uh, uh, what else was on that? Ham, ham from yeah. some foreign country. Yeah. <laughs> It was a mean, was, you make a mean sandwich. Okay, that's just the beginning. Uh. Okay. All right, so I can make a mean something. Mean. You're very confident mm. about what um, thing that you can make, and you know it's really good. What would you say is the meanest <laughs> of the dishes you make? The, the meanest. What's the meanest? Oh my gosh, I can make a mean bolognese sauce. Bolognese sauce? Yes. Like a like what you like a meat pasta. A s- tomato, tomato and meat. Yes. Like kind of spaghetti yeah, type like of homemade sauce. Homemade from scratch. <gasps> <gasps> and I will bring it one day. Okay. We're gonna have pasta Great. here at the Power English Studio. Uh, All right. If something is labor intensive, it means it requires a lot of physical effort. Mm-hmm. It's gotta be physical. Mm. Okay. How is your new job as construction foreman? It's a lot less labor intensive than when I was a plumber. Yeah. yeah. So a lot of those sort of blue collar jobs, I would say, are more labor intensive, yes. wouldn't you say? Right. Mm. A blue collar job is mm. a job that mainly requires you to work physically. Yes. Right. Yes. So your mechanics, mm-hmm. your miners, your construction mm-hmm. workers. Right. Right. You're working at the factory assembly line. Yeah. yeah. So mm. they're usually what we call labor intensive. Okay. Building a house is very labor intensive. Oh, yeah. That's why you have the construction company build you a house. Yeah. 
And but there are some people who like to build their own houses. Mm, my dad could do it. <gasps> he worked in construction for wow. years. To, okay, to be honest, before he worked in construction, oh. he worked in the woods. He was a logger. He cut down trees. Your dad too? I thought your grandfather was, yes. but so your dad too. It's my dad's, <gasps> my grandfather's business. Oh. And my dad worked with Got it. him when he was younger. Yeah. So my dad, I think, could literally cut the tree, make the wood, no. and build the house. You're... If he had enough, to, obviously had enough time. Right, right. But that's, he, that's... all those labor intensive jobs. He can do them. I can't do a single one. Are you sure? You never know. It could be in your genes. Maybe one day, Cameron. <laughs> Maybe. You know, 20 years from now, you'll be building your own house in like, like Kyunggi area. Building my own furniture. <laughs> okay. and yeah. All right. <laughs> I it wouldn't surprise uh, me. Maybe one day. Okay. Have skin in the game means that you are personally invested in something. Yes. Like you are concerned about it. You're doing something because you are also in that situation. If things go badly, you will also get hurt. That's right. Okay. Um, why does Mike work so hard? Isn't he the manager? Yeah, but he has skin in the game. His pay is determined by the company's profits. Yeah. Mm, so when you're in, you have an incentive yeah. or a bonus, mm -hmm. like if sales are good, you get more money. Right. That means you have skin in the game. That's right. The outcome affects you. Yeah. So say, for example, you publish a monthly book mm -hmm. and you get a royalty. Yes. Incentive. Yes. You've got skin in the game. Are we talking about you? No. <laughs> I just get a flat rate. Ah, yeah. Oh. Uh, but if we sell enough Power English books, mm, it can. It yeah. can happen, mm, mm. but not right now. The CEO gets paid in stock shares, so he has a lot of skin in the game. Yeah. Sometimes CEOs mm. don't get paid a salary at all. Wow. It's all stock options. Wow. And so if the company does, does well, well, they get more they money. They do well. Yeah. 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 Skin in the game. That's why I was bad at as being a company like worker. Yeah. Because if it didn't go There's well. There's no skin in the game. Eh, I still and get paid. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> it did it, yeah. It was so yeah. hard. I did not have skin in the game. That's right. But Power English, if you don't do well. Oh, yeah, I get fired. You get fired. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Power pattern all the time. But in this context, it was more of like anytime. Yes. Okay. Mm. Now, I go to the gym all the time. So, mm. meaning you really do go every day. Yes. Uh -huh. Jake and his friend go to the beach all the time in the summer. Mm -hmm. Again, this one is kind of like continuously continuously over and over okay but it can also be used to mean any time okay very good um please look at our power vocabulary on page 84 the word is diligent mm -hmm. so the korean word is like songshiran bujidonhan but it also in english has that sort of meaning of perseverance perseverance continuing Con to do something yes yeah. that you just continue very mm. good um and also make sure you stop by audio ohata pay a very small fee and you can have access to so much material yes yes uh, thank you for studying with us and have a wonderful day bye bye